In this video, you will learn about a very simple principle that you can apply to your life that when I discovered it, I was able to quit my job and make my first million dollars. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Now, I'm a self-motivated person and an independent thinker, but I discovered over the years that my actions are directly shaped by the people I see the most. For example, when I hang out with someone who goes out all the time, I go out all the time. When I hang out with someone who is fat and out of shape, I become fat and out of shape. And when I hang out with someone who is fiercely driven to succeed, I'm motivated to succeed. Now, even my wants, needs, and desires are heavily influenced by my peer group. So for example, before I started my two online businesses, post-college Steve wanted to start a high-tech company that would go public and make millions, drive an Audi A4 Turbo, buy a gigantic house in Palo Alto, California, where all my friends could crash and throw parties, own the latest computer equipment and gadgets as soon as they came out. But why did I want all these specific things? Well, I wanted to work at a hot startup company because that's what all my friends were doing. It was the cool thing to do. I wanted to drive an Audi A4 because it was the dream car of a girl that I liked back in college and she would have been impressed. I wanted to live in Palo Alto because it's where my friends wanted to live. And I wanted to own all the latest gadgets because my friends are geeks and love tech. Now I'm not a follower or a lemming, but once I realized this about my personality, I made some simple changes that drastically improved my life. Here's my story. So first off, I want to say that I'm blessed to have very successful friends who have propelled me forward at different stages of my life. Now during my high school years, I hung out with a bunch of geeks who really cared about getting good grades, so I got good grades and got into Stanford University. Then at Stanford, I was surrounded by other successful and driven kids, which pushed me to pursue a career in electrical engineering. Now the hard part is finding the right people to push you in the direction you want to go at your specific stage in life. And if you're feeling stuck, chances are that your current peer group is the wrong fit. So for example, it took me about 20 years to realize that my immediate friend group from Stanford was not the proper group for me in terms of starting my own small business. Here in the Silicon Valley where I live, it's all about funded startups. Yo, Steve, I just raised 10 million bucks at a $50 million post. Steve, I'm pulling 80 hour weeks right now, but my company is on the cusp of a huge payout. Steve, I can't wait to tell you what I'm working on. It is the next big thing. Now, when I graduated from college, I thought that I wanted to start a venture-backed startup because all my friends were starting their own companies. And my friends' desires became a model of my own. Now, as humans, we tend to imitate what our peer group wants because it becomes a localized symbol of success. Now, is it a coincidence that five of my friends remodeled their houses during the pandemic? And is it a coincidence that all of my friends own a Tesla? We all want what our close friends want. Now, when you surround yourself with like-minded peers, you start subconsciously competing with each other and wanting the same things. And it's a little twisted, but sometimes we need our friends to want something first in order to want it for ourselves. And if you don't have a peer group to model yourself after, your motivation will slowly start to drift. Now, when my wife and I first started our handkerchief business, None of our friends thought anything of it. They didn't think it was cool, and many questioned whether the business was worth our time. Why? It's because my Stanford friends were too busy taking venture money to start the next billion dollar company, and creating a lifestyle business to spend more time with your family did not interest them one bit. As a result, my wife and I considered shutting down our business on several occasions because starting a hanky business was not cool within our peer group. Now, I'm happy that my wife and I stuck with our business, but it was an extremely lonely process. We didn't have anyone to share our successes and failures with. And I've had a similar experience with mywifequitterjob.com as well. At the time, none of my friends believed that blogging could possibly make any money, so they regarded my blog as just a fun hobby and a passing fad. Yo, Steve, how's blogging going? Made any money yet? Early on, my blog struggled to make any traffic, and I was fairly close to quitting until I attended my first in-person conference called FinCon. And it was at FinCon where I met a few key people who fundamentally changed my way of thinking. Immediately after attending FinCon, I became more motivated than ever to succeed. I met people to share my successes and failures with. I learned new strategies to apply to my own businesses. And in fact, my FinCon peer group was responsible for turning Bumblebee Linens and MyWifeQuitterJob.com into the seven-figure businesses that they are today. Now, how do you find your own version of FinCon? Well, follow these steps to make forward progress with your business. 
Now, the first thing that you have to do is hang out and or follow successful people. Now, the hardest part of the process is realizing that you've outgrown your current peer group and that you need to make new friends. Heck, it took me over a decade to realize that I needed new people in my life. Now, if you find that your friends and family aren't being supportive or if they are constantly questioning your actions, it's time to make new friends. So, for example, if you are determined to get into better shape and lose weight, do not hang out with friends who are constantly inviting you to get boba tea or dessert. Thanks to social media and the internet, it's easier than ever to find like-minded people with your same goals and aspirations. Do a Google search, use Instagram, or start watching TikToks to find people who inspire you. Then, break down what they are doing in their daily lives to achieve the life that you want to live. So for example, I follow the TPA Tennis YouTube channel because I want to learn the exact techniques the pros use to become better tennis players. People follow MyWifeQuitterJob.com because they want to learn how to spend more time with their family and their loved ones. And my readers, listeners, and watchers have no desire to start the next billion dollar company or work their butts off at the expense of family and friends. They want to earn enough money to give them the freedom to do whatever they want, whenever they want. Now, even though following people virtually through social media is a great start, a better way to meet your people is by attending in-person events. Over the years, I've met most of my close friends through conferences like Seller Summit, FinCon, Social Media Marketing World, E-Commerce Fuel, and countless others. And most of you don't know this, but I started my podcast for the sole purpose of meeting new people. By running an interview-based show, I'm forced to chat with someone new for one hour every single week. Incidentally, if you want to meet people running six, seven, or eight-figure e-commerce businesses, consider attending my annual e-commerce conference, The Seller Summit. Once you find a group of like-minded people, form a mastermind group. A mastermind is a cohort of three to six people that meet on a regular basis to hold each other accountable for making forward progress, to bounce ideas off of one another, to motivate each other to take calculated risks. Ideally, every member of your mastermind group should share the same goals and desires so you can psychologically push each other forward. Over the years, I've belonged to many different mastermind groups and they've all been instrumental in pushing me out of my comfort zone. In fact, just the mere presence of other successful entrepreneurs will inspire you to take action. We are all heavily influenced by our peers, and you'll find yourself subconsciously imitating greatness. You'll find yourself breaking through artificial barriers that have all been in your head. For example, I never thought in a million years that I could create a seven-figure business without a large team. But once I saw my friends doing it, I knew that it was possible with the right systems in place. Now, the fastest way to grow is to talk with someone who has been there before. Now, after you've found your people, don't get carried away. A byproduct of surrounding yourself with successful people is that you'll start wanting the same things and it's easy to get caught up in the competition. Even though I love my small business entrepreneur friends, they sometimes push me beyond where I want to be. So for example, I have several colleagues in the e-commerce space who are just killing it online. They set aggressive goals, work their butts off, and they're rewarded with great success. However, they don't have kids, a family, or similar priorities. And the goal of running my businesses has always been to spend more time with my loved ones. But deep down, I want to achieve the same level of success. And there have been times where I've been guilty of trying to keep up with the Joneses by sacrificing my health and my friendships to make more money. Now, there's no such thing as the perfect peer group, and you have to distinguish between your true needs and your true wants. Now, when it comes to my businesses, I constantly have to remind myself that I already make more money than I need, my businesses are a tool to spend more time with my family, making more money will not make me happier, and I can already buy anything that I want. So busting my butt to make more money than my peers is not a good use of my time or brain power. So bottom line, you have to understand your true desires. Is your purpose in starting a business just to make money? Or is it to provide you with the freedom to do whatever you want? Do not get caught up in the competition. So the single most important change that you can make to propel your business forward is to find the right peer group. Now it's been over a decade since I started my first business now, but I will never forget how lonely it felt. It's hard enough to start a business from complete scratch with no experience. But if your friends and your family are talking you down at the same time, it makes it even harder. Now, Jim Rohn once famously said that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And when it comes to relationships, we are greatly influenced by those who are closest to us. We want what our friends want. We want what our friends own. We want what our friends have achieved. If you spend your time with deadbeat friends who aren't going anywhere in life, you won't get anywhere either. But if you find people who want what you want or have achieved what you want to achieve, 
you'll feel energized. You'll gain confidence, you'll feel motivated, and you can use this energy to propel yourself forward. So follow these steps right now. Take a Google Doc and make two lists. List number one should contain friends and influencers who are living a life that you wanna live. And list number two should contain people who are holding you back from your goals or who are giving you negative energy. Now you don't have to completely ditch the people on list number two, but you need to distance yourself from excessive negativity. Meanwhile, find out where list number one hangs out and meet as many like-minded people as you can in person. Form a mastermind group, meet regularly, and I guarantee that it will transform your life. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.